Alright, basically I'm just going to show you how to eat right here. Um, this is offline. Basically you just go over here to the little cat. I'm pretty sure you know that. I'm just going to tell you anyway. <laughs> you can use a voucher or you can pay for it. Um, vouchers come in handy online so I wouldn't really use the voucher. So basically I'm just looking for something like a meat or a rice or something to get health and stamina. Mostly you go for health and stamina or health and attack or health and defense. I mean there's other stuff but I don't know I don't really use that stuff. Alright right here I'm about to show you um, the status. I'm about to show you my stamina and my health. They're both at 100 right now. Um, everything's basically at 100. Oxygen, um, stamina. So basically I'm gonna go over here and eat. Alright I'm gonna get this big meat. <laughs> big meat. I'm going to get big meat and gold rice. I'm pretty sure that's stamina. Like anything like poultry and rice or wheat like it'll be stamina and the meat will be for health. Alright you see me right here looking at the random skills. Now these random skills help you out um, throughout the mission. Um, they all do different stuff just like I'm doing right now. You got to get your Wii remote and you just hold the B button and then you just hover over them and it will display what they do on the side right there. So, I mean, it's easy to figure out what they do. I'm not going to talk about them because you can figure that out. Um, some of them are kind of weird to understand, but then once you get it, you'll be like, oh, that's what that means? It's kind of weird. You just have to play with it and try different stuff. And every time you eat something, it's random. You don't get all that stuff. It's, you, it's a possibility that you can get all this stuff, but most of the time you only get two out of four or maybe one out of four. Sometimes you don't get any, so it's all by chance. Okay, so basically I'm going to pay with my resources. Um, I always save my cash for online, but it doesn't really matter to me anymore. But it's good to just keep your cash. Okay, I got health, I got stamina, blaster, and foodie. It looks like, alright, I got two out of four. So, you know, like I said, two out of four ain't bad. At least you got a few extra random skills to help you along. Yeah, my health is at 140 and my stamina is at 150. And just before I ate, they both were at 100. So I'm just pointing that out. Alright, so now you can come over here and talk to this little chick over here. Basically, she has like all the essential stuff you need. You can buy herbs from her. But I wouldn't recommend buying that kind of stuff like herbs. You can go forge in the um, on the level and get that stuff now you can buy like pickaxes and um, bug nets and stuff I wouldn't buy the old ones they break like a one one time use they'll break so just get the regular pickaxe and the regular um, bug net um, this is for forging Alright man, um, right off the bat, you can come right out the gate and um, there's usually stuff you can just pick up like little um, herbs and um, bushes and shrubs and shit like that. So um, basically I'm just messing around. Um, come look at these little fondues. <laughs> well here's some iron or ore. Um, automatically if you have a, a pickaxe on you, if it, it'll show up on the screen and you can just start hammering away. Yeah, same thing with this bug net. Um, you run over here to the floating butterflies or whatever, wherever you see them, and um, you can do the same thing. You just um, automatically pull it out if you have one. Just push A on it; and it'll pick it up. See, my um, first net already broke, and that's just a regular one, man. And here's those little shrubs I was talking about. We played yesterday or the other day, and we were picking that stuff up. I'm pretty sure you already knew that. Yeah, I'm heading to area two basically, and um, I'm 
right over here to this waterfall. Usually there's some berries or something over here, but I don't see any right now. Oh well. Um, this thing's always over here. If you ever see these, usually you get honey from them. But you can get that snake lava bullshit too, which I don't even know why they even really have it. Because I probably have like tons of it in my inventory and I don't even touch it. So if you want to get honey, these are the best things to go for. Because I don't think anything else in this game gives you honey unless you buy it or trade it. So keep an eye out for those. Stock up on honey. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Same thing with these little um, mushrooms and shit. Um, you can pick these up. Um, I don't really use any of these mushrooms either. Maybe the blue mushrooms, that's about it. But it's good to have at least a hundred of them. Just so in case you need to have them or trade them. Yeah, here we go again with the um, the insects or the butterflies. Basically, the best thing to get out of these, I would say, are the flash bugs that make flash bombs. Alright, basically, I'm going to show you how to make weapons. Just go talk to old man Yoda. Um, you go to weapons. Go to forge weapons. And you go find a class. I'm going to go to great sword. And these are all the great swords that he has. I think there's more online. I mean, there is more online. Um, basically, every sword has a different path. Even every weapon has a different path besides the um, the bow guns. But I'm not gonna really talk about those. Um, you just find the weapon you want, and I would just say make every weapon on this list. And then they all have different. They have like two different other paths they can go on, and they all lead to something greater, like a different weapon you probably would never thought of. So, I mean, every weapon has its own. Um, skill or maybe it's sharper or maybe it has an element attack which is like fire wind water and all that crap you know so basically you just upgrade a weapon from an old weapon and you make new weapons till it can't be upgraded no more and that's the final product so that's what I have right now I'm just gonna keep upgrading it so just check it out and basically whatever you put the cursor over it'll tell you what materials you need to get it so basically when I go over this weapon it says I need five um, iron ore and I already got 30 of them I need it five it says I own 30 so I can make that you just need to have the funds which is only like two grand basically and oh yeah um, take a look at their upgrade right there see the two weapons it's like the Buster Sword and the Rugged Great Sword. Those are the two options when you try to upgrade it. So you have to pick which path you want to go. So yeah, I'm just going to show you a quick peek of the sword I just made from the old one. That's it right there on her back. Okay, now I'm going to go back over here and upgrade that. Yeah, basically I'm just showing you the raw damage, which is the regular attack. With no element. It's 600 now. And this is a whole different sword. So I'm just pointing out that the attack is 600. So let's see what the next one looks like. Okay, that's the next one, and basically I'm going to show you the next one, which I don't have enough um, material for. This would be the next one if I had like four more, um, what do I need, I don't know, whatever I needed. Metallic ore, yeah, I need like six more of those and I could have made it. Everything else was good, so if it's faded, that's the one that you're missing. Alright, basically I'm going to show you the same thing, but now it's for the armor. You just do the same thing, but you go to armor. Uh, 
basically you can see what the stuff looks like just by pushing the preview button and you can rotate your character in the screen just like so <laughs> basically those are the goggles that's for like water uh, I can't remember what the rest of these do but I don't really I never really really use them but some of them are really really good so don't knock them just because they're the first couple of weapons okay so basically I'm gonna have him forge it and then uh, I'm just gonna go down the row or down the line and have him make the same thing for the chest and same thing for the waist same thing for the legs and so on and so on the same name of the armor so you can have a full set in that armor Um, basically every time you make anything he'll ask you if you want to equip it now and or you could just send it to your box it's up to you and there's the final leather armor for the legs and this is it alright um, I want to talk about the active skills you get when putting a full armor set together every single armor has its own unique skill from putting when you basically put the whole set on so you get spirits whim with this armor which is the leather armor set you get gathering one and you get speed gatherer um, capture guru is not part of that it's just something I equipped it through a gym which is a decoration and I'll get into that later if you hover the um, the Wii remote over the the skills and hold B, it'll tell you what they do. And for any of the skills to work, they have to at least add up to plus ten. That's why the ones below that bar are like six and four, and they didn't make the cut. All right, now I'm just gonna go in here and upgrade the armor, which is everything with the E on is what you have equipped it. And um, you can sort this out later on by yourself. You can put them in a row so they're not just all cluttered. I usually put all armors by themselves and all weapons by themselves in a row. But this is my newer account, so I don't really I haven't really done anything with it. So basically I'm just gonna level up every piece of armor um, that I can. Um, well I'm just gonna level up to level four because you need special stuff to upload it or upload it to um, upgrade it past level five. And um, you'll find that out later. And um, basically you just upgrade your armor so you can take more hits so you get more defense. Okay, basically I just wanted to show this food stuff right quick. Um, I got lucky and got four um, random food skills out of four. Lucky. Just hold your cursor over it and hold B and it'll tell you what it does. Um, this is part one out of four, so see ya.